Temi, the Italian manufacturer of uh, Ambrosio Long Mover Robot. Uh, you know that uh, Zucchetti, the DSS, have a great passion for innovation, new technologies, and this is why today we are so excited to present uh, a new robot, but also new technology, a breathtaking innovation, uh, indeed a revolution in the robotic field. And I'm sure that everybody will be enthusiastic about this new model. Now, let me introduce my friends and my colleagues that will be with me at the live. Uh, first of all, Gian Domenico from uh, ZS. Uh, Hello, everybody. Hi. And then we have uh, our colleague from uh, Ireland, Andrew. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello from Ireland. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, and then we have Martin from uh, Belgium. Hi, Martin. Hello, everybody. Greetings from Belgium. Okay, so here we are. Uh, so, um, uh, in the last few years, uh, we have become more and more familiar with robots, with new technologies, with artificial intelligence, uh, with innovations, uh, uh, both in the house, but also in our garden. Uh, but now people have started asking for a particular question. People want to know uh, if the robot is automatic. So the, the question is always the same. Is the robot automatic? Uh, above all for medium-sized gardens. And this is why we are here today, because we want that uh, the dreams come true. Uh, thanks to the artificial intelligence and to the radars of the latest generation, the new 20ZR is able to work without perimeter wire. Uh, but let's see the trailer. I think it's easier to understand what I mean. Please. Here we are again. Uh, so let's start to go into details with uh, this robot, uh, with Gian Domenico. Please, Gian Domenico, you have the floor now. Thanks, Romina. I'm happy to be here with the robots and to show it to all of you. Uh, it is part of the next line, our new uh, generation of robotic lawn mowers. And uh, as we can see, it's very compact and light. It is only seven kilos weight. Uh, I can lift it with, with, without difficult. And it is made of uh, quality and durable materials. It uses also a 18 uh, centimeters cutting blade. And it is a real cutting blade, so it can cut any type uh, of grass. Um, and uh, it is also compact, it's only 42 centimeters long. The robot it, it's also very powerful and smart. Uh, it can manage uh, gardens from little to medium sites up to 1,000 square meters. And it is also innovative because uh, this robot doesn't need installation or perimeter wires to work. So it is fully automatic and it's outside. Fantastic. Gian Domenico, what about the radars? How they work? Uh, this robot uh, has three radars installed on the front part, here exactly, and two of them are used to detect the obstacles, and the third one is used to detect the grass. So the robot is able to know. Uh, where to work and which objects that are to avoid. Uh, this is possible because the robot has a powerful tool that is the artificial intelligence. So uh, this system uh, can manage and uh, process all the data collected from the radars and can give the robot the right instruction every time. It is also very smart because this system improves itself over the time 
and it is able to connect to the cloud and share all the information. Uh, we can make an example uh, because we can think that the robot can discover uh, a new type of grass to cut and this information uh, will be shared on the cloud. So all the robots connected to the cloud can take this information and know that there is this new type of, of grass that to be cut. And this uh, very smart and innovative solution. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So amazing, really amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So, thank you. So if I have well understood, uh, there is no need of installation. So it's easy, really very simple to use. And um, as I told you before, we have with us some friends from Belgium and from Ireland. Uh, they tested the robot with us and for us. So uh, we would like to share with them also the, their experience. For example, Martin from, from Belgium, what, what can you tell us about your experience with the test? Well, Romina, I can tell you that the test of the new 20ZR uh, and its radar system was very successful. This new system, this, this radar, allows the robot uh, to recognize all the obstacles in the garden um, so it doesn't bump into them. Um, it will go to the object, get closer and closer, stop, choose another direction, left or right, um, so it doesn't bump into the object and can continue its working. Um, what is beautiful, it's, it's always all, also working with uh, uh, moving objects. For instance, if you walk into your garden or if you have uh, friends visiting, the robot will also stop um, for persons, so you, it won't collide with them. Um, the, also, another beauty of it, uh, when you introduce new items into the to the garden, you won't need to delimit it in, uh, with the perimeter wire like before. So you can adapt the garden at all times, and the robot just keeps working uh, like before, like it was always there. Oh, fantastic, fantastic! And um, you know that uh, uh, gardens can be also very complex and complicated. Sometimes sometimes irregular, for example, sometimes with several areas to move. Um, what can you tell me? How uh, does the robot manage the different areas? The robot can manage up to four areas, which are not easy uh, to access. Uh, if you would like, you can install a guide wire um, connected to the station and install four areas, four working starting points for the robot um, to go through to um, begin with it, uh, begin mowing. Um, so you can um, direct the robot to a narrow passage um, to uh, arrive in a new complete uh, other area of the garden. Um, also, because of the, the light weight of the robot, it is very easy to pick the robot up and place it in a closed area where it otherwise um, wouldn't could, 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 could not reach. You can pick it up, place it in the other area and let it start working uh, from there. So there is no area anymore in your garden um, that can't be mowed. Okay, so I see it is very easy to move it from a place to another because it's very way light, so it's easy to move. Uh, I, I see. And um, also, um, by my experience, I know that customers always place the same question when they see a robot. The first question is always, is this robot automatic? Is there a charging, a charging station? Um, Andrew, can you help me with this? Yes. Uh, this is a major factor in Ireland for us. Uh, one of the most common questions is, you know, how easy is it to install? You know, what do I have to do? And the beauty about this uh, new range of next generation lawnmowers is how simple it is. You stop, start buttons, easy installation, just put in the docking station. And the longevity of the hours of cutting and the quality of the blade and the simplicity of use, even the simplicity of picking up the machine with the handles, you know, it, it, it's that safe, light, nimble, it's brilliant. It's been really good, really good feedback so far from Ireland. Yeah, uh, Andrew, I know that you also had some tests with, with your end users, so with your customers. And I'm curious, I'm really curious to know uh, what is the feedback, what they think about this robot, this new 20ZR? Uh, feedback straight away is uh, good looking, next generation ZR with 
this technology that's here is it's it's, it's absolutely brilliant they, they they think it's a revelation they, 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 they cannot believe it so you know even as martin said the adjustments in the garden don't need to be done uh it's 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 really taken off quite well and uh, you know up to four hours cutting time uh, you know up to a thousand square meters normally this is not seen in this size of garden so it's been brilliant you know they, they really look forward to, to having this machine in their garden so that they see the real benefits of it absolutely yeah absolutely it's simplicity of just start stop the first real user-friendly robot that you literally just press a button and away you go. Yeah, this is the most important thing, that the end user yep. understands the benefit of a such a robot, a such a model. Uh, okay, thank you, Andrew. Uh, so, you know that we are also attending the AIM exhibition. It is uh, one of the most important exhibitions in Italy. And uh, there we have uh, Ciro, our colleague. I hope he's uh, joining us. Hello, hello, good morning to everyone directly from AIMA 2021. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, Chilo. Hello. How are you? hello, I'm fine, okay. Thank you very much. I'm here sitting with all the ZCS staff here in our booth, very nice booth with a lot of people going and moving around. So we are here to present today, as usual, during the last four days, our star, which is the still the 20ZR. As I told you, and uh, there are a lot of people there is a very nice interest, big interest in this machine. So all the people are asking about and are enthusiastic about the future of this product. It means that for sure, you know, together with all the, our product of the next line, I think that we can provide the market to be a, with a very nice and uh, technologically so solution. So, so far, everything is going in, uh, in a very nice way. A lot of people, a lot of customers, common people that's fine really fantastic because yeah, we need know, to come back i also know that this is one of the first events after the covid so i think it's fantastic also to be among people uh, still lots of people and talk in face to face with people uh, it's such an incredible yeah. thing now i think exactly exactly this is very 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 nice you know having the contact with the people shaking the hand with this something that we missed a lot during the last two years and i think that now it's time to restart uh, meeting the people you know presenting our technology present our product directly it's a very very incredible the enthusiasm that is now going around here in the exhibition is quite quite good so hopefully that it's just a restart point for the next generation with our product with our customer and with our people Yes, indeed, I see there are lots of people around you. So. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, Emma, Emma sure. is really having a very great success this year. We were a little bit afraid about the participation, but honestly speaking, you know, we are a very good busy uh, uh, number of of, um, of uh, visit, number of visitors. So it's really, really interesting. So we are really happy. All the ZCS stuff is crowded. They is busy with people speaking. It's incredible. It's something that yeah. we really need. Thank you so much, Ciro. Thank you so much. Thank enjoy you to your, you. Enjoy your exhibition then. <laughs> Thank you. Greetings bye. from Bologna. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye. So, um, as Ciro told, uh, um, this, this new robot, the, the 20 ZR, is part of the Ambrogio range. Ambrogio range is famous for many new technologies, but the one of the things which um, Ambrosio is famous is the cutting quality. So um, I would like to ask Andrew from Ireland uh, what he thinks uh, about the cutting quality. So since we all have in our mind the green grass uh, of the Irish gardens. So Andrew, what can you tell us about it? Uh, basically, uh, in Ireland we have very long, lush, can be quite dense, heavy and of course wet grass uh, a lot of the time so it it's not every uh, uh, machine can take to the irish land very well but ambrosia has been a revelation in 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 ireland it's it's been brilliant the the long cutting times and the the, the proper blades even for the the zr with the 18 inch uh, centimeter blade has been brilliant it, it you can see instantly the difference in the cut you know after a couple of hours you can see straight away whereas you know similar machines might take a lot longer to to get control of your garden so 
it's it's been really good and we are really looking forward to all the next ne next generation of, of robots coming forward with this technology so it, it, it's the future is good yeah, yeah 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 thank you so much for this feedback um now i i would um, i would give uh, some space to the customers that want to place some questions we are here available to reply to all your questions i see for example one uh, uh, one question that is uh, uh, becoming quite urgent is about the borders, the edge, the finishing of the borders. Uh, Gian Domenico, can you help us with, uh, with this uh, answer, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, the robot is able to cut also the grass on the, uh, the edges because uh, with the grass sensor, it, it can go a little bit over the perimeter grass and so it can cut it. Of course, I'm talking about situations where there is a walking path or tights around the perimeter to cut. In case of walls, uh, the robot, of course, needs to stop a little bit before to avoid to touch the wall. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, John Domenico. Um, I have another question for you about the obstacle of small objects, uh, for example, a flower or a young tree, for example. How can the robot detect this obstacle? The robot uses two uh, radars to detect the obstacles, and these ob obstacles can be made of different materials and dimension. For example, in the way it will detect uh, uh, objects like trees, uh, flowers, and also boats or toys uh, leave it there on the garden by children, for example. And uh, the robot uh, stops before them, uh, make a little bit uh, backwards, change direction, and go uh, on the other side of the garden. Okay, uh, Gian Domenico, since you have the robot just in front of you, I see that some people uh, uh, is asking about the blade. Can you show the blade, please? Uh, at the moment, the blade is not installed on this robot because uh, this robot okay. uses on our showroom and there are many people here that want to yeah. see the robot and for security, we don't need uh, yeah, to put the blade inside the robot where everyone can touch it. And how big is it anyway? Uh, uh, the blade is an 18 centimeters uh, blade made of metal, uh, of iron, of course. And uh, the difference uh, of our respect of our competitor is that this blade is uh, only one piece. It's not a little cutters, so uh, it has more power to cut uh, the grass. I see, I see. Okay. Thank you, that's clear. Thank you so much. And uh, Martin, uh, there are lots of questions about app. You know that uh, nowadays uh, the app is some, something that is uh, required when we talk about smart objects. Uh, what can you tell us about the app? Do we have an app at least? Yes, of course, we can't go uh, without an application. So also with this uh, 20 ZR, you can um, work together um, with the application, with the Ambrugio remote app, you can uh, download on your smartphone. Um, with this app, uh, you can do a lot of things and really make the robot your own. You can decide when it needs to mow, when it needs to stop. So you can install working times uh, for every week, for every day, um, on different different hour, hours when it needs to start. You can also install with this application um, the multiple areas that you want it to cut. Um, so the Ambrejo remote app is uh, really versatile. You can do a lot of things with it, including playing with your own robot. Um, great for the children or, or, or yourself. Uh, you can direct the robot to an, an area that is not accessible. Um, stop it there, pick it up, place it in the closed area um, and let it work in there. So you don't, although it is very lightweight, seven kilos, you don't need to um, pick it up and uh, take it there all the way. So um, very, very many things you can do with the Ambrosia. Yeah. So I understand that we cannot do without. Eh? No. So it's something that uh, we must, it's a must. It's something that we must have with the robot. Thank you, thank you, Martin. Um, do we have other questions uh, or can we ask, can we answer some other questions? 
Okay, so um, if not, uh, I think that uh, uh, we finished this, uh, this live, uh, we finished to present and uh, to uh, introduce our uh, new robot. Uh, I really, really hope that you uh, enjoyed, you appreciate it. Uh, I hope that uh, you had a rough idea of what we are doing with this robot. Uh, so have a great day and uh, for any other information you may need, you may uh, visit our website, ambrosiorobot.com. You see the link uh, here below. Uh, so thank you so much for your attention. Thank you uh, for everything. Uh, also to my colleagues that are with me today and the big kiss from Italy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.